Well, hey folks, here's the little vegetable garden. I put this actually in the front yard over on the south facing side of the house. Things are growing. This here is a, um, let's see what this one is. This looks like it's a red, a red bell pepper. I have tags in here. This one here is an orange bell. And then these are both tomatoes. Um, I'll have to see what kind those are. For some reason, I thought I planted different ones, but these are both Roma tomatoes. Last year, I had Romas back there, and I know you're supposed to change um, beds per year. You're not supposed to plant tomatoes in the same spot again. So these are both Romas, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. Now over here, um, it looks like I just could have planted this guy in here all by itself. I had no idea it was going to get this big. So what we have in here is this one here is a, that's a heart of gold cantaloupe. It's kind of taking its time to get going. I have rabbits that come in here and keep eating these. You can see they're eating the, the leaves off of them and stuff. This one here is a cantaloupe. Um, you can see I have the tag. These are seeds left over from my cantaloupes that I planted and harvested last year. That one there is a watermelon. Those are also seeds that I had left over from uh, water, little personal watermelons that I harvested last year. Um, this here, these are Roma tomatoes that are just growing from seeds that were in the ground. I should probably pull those up. You know, like tomatoes that fell off and Here's another one here, but to my surprise, look at this monster. I mean, look at how big the leaves are compared to my hand. I mean, this, this thing is a monster. And I planted a lot of these in little peat pots in my backyard and they're, they're not even, they're about this big. But the ones I planted from seed that I put in the ground here, look at it. It has just exploded. It loves that full sun. And you're wondering, what is this? This is a gray zucchini squash that I planted from seed. And I planted all these seeds at the same time. And these are just, it's pretty impressive. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on this through the year. I do have drip lines running to both of these, as you can see. And um, instead of having, you know, just drip emitters that drip right in the ground, I have these 360s, you know, so they spray out like at least a foot all the way around. And I know a lot of people say you shouldn't do that and you should have it go directly down to the roots, but I have to do this because the rest of the bed will dry out and you have roots, you know, going further out. So. I just find it's way more healthier to do it this way. Um, the plants obviously thrive like this. So yeah, this one's definitely gonna be crowded. We'll see how it does. I, I gotta get the rabbits from eating everything in here. But um, yeah, these are all the um, purple uh, irises. These were originally on the north side of the house when we bought the house. And there's only a little bit of them. I dug them up and put them over here. They've already bloomed, of course. You can see the flowers are all dead on them. But my goodness, those things have multiplied like crazy. Got a bunch of sunflowers popping up right here. And a whole bunch of more of those irises over there that just... I mean, there was like one iris plant there. And look at it. Probably going to have to, maybe at the end of the year, start pulling them up and thinning them out. Maybe moving them to other other parts in the uh, garden. I just leave all this stuff here for the birds and whatnot, you know. I also have this here. This is one of those um, sun cast um, like patio storage things. You know, they have a lid on them. I got these on clearance at Lowe's, so I figured why not fill one up with dirt. Got another uh, bell pepper in there. That's, that's another type of a yellow bell pepper right there. 
And uh, you can see I have a drip line ran to that as well. While we're out here in the front yard, here's my little family of sheep. And as you can see, they're all doing pretty good out here. They haven't ran away yet. Here's the rose bush. It's in spectacular bloom right now. I better get it now because it probably won't be blooming here pretty soon. The roses are probably be dead pretty soon. But look at how spectacular that is. Doesn't that look nice? I've got this in the corner in the front yard. And I really thinned it out a lot this year. I mean, it's gotten so much growth. It's pretty crazy up there. I do try to keep the bottom of it nice and thinned out down there, though. But aren't these some beautiful roses on here? It's getting kind of heavy here. Probably going to have to come in here and cut some of this. But boy, there's a lot of them. These right here are hollyhocks I planted a couple years ago. And they're really popping up. These are beautiful flowers. They're they're not there yet. Um, once they bloom, I'll do another video. They get beautiful red and pink flowers on them. They get really tall, six, seven feet tall. I mean, these ones are already taller than I am right here. But um, the only problem with these is the wind will blow the seeds and they will just take over everywhere like weeds. You can see all the new sprouts down there. They actually get so bad I have to come in here and pull them all out of my rocks and I have to spray them with a weed killer to keep them out of there. They are extremely invasive, but they are some beautiful flowers once they once they start uh, start blooming. I don't know if these are salvias. I'm not sure what these are. I like them. They come back every year. Everything I have are perennials. This here is a socialized garlic right here, that one. You can see just starting to bloom. Forgot the name of this one, but it comes back every year as well. I've got another one of these purple ones here, and it looks like we've got a little bee on there. Gathering so, a couple of them, gathering some uh, pollen. And of course, I do have drip lines all throughout here, you can see them. Which keeps all the stuff watered right here. Here's the rest of my sheep family over here on this side of the yard. We've got three of them over here. They're good sheep, just like the other ones. They have not ran away yet. Got some evening primroses in this bucket. Those, those are one of my favorites right there. And then this bucket looks like I have more of these purple flowers. Once again, I think they're salvia. I'm not sure. They're definitely a favorite of the bees, though. And I've obviously planted, I think these are some type of a, of a iris here. But um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different stuff going on in there. Looks pretty nice. Now this bucket here, this shrub, did not make it this year. It started to bloom, as you can see, and then we got a frost and it, it didn't bloom. But if you break, break the twigs, they'll, it, they're uh, still green in there. So maybe they'll come back next year, I don't know. But we do have a lot of socialized garlic that's taken over in there, and a lot of bulbs, so I just left it alone this year. I did plant some miniature pansies in here, but um, they're, not, they're not looking that hot. I'm not sure if they're getting too much water, not enough water, too much sun, not sure. I do have one, one 360 sprinkler right in the middle of there. Here's my front yard windmill. There's my ornamental pear tree. I believe these are Bradford ornamental pear trees. And then in this pot here, we have another type of a shrub. Couldn't tell you what it is. It's been there for years. It's doing very well. And we have another one right there. I forgot what this is called. It blooms yellow flowers in very early spring. Got my wishing well right here. I've got a five gallon bucket in there. 
and I plant it. This is some type of a flowering vine right here. I cut it back and it's starting to grow again. Hopefully it'll grow and get all over this wishing wall right here. And then here's the other ornamental Bradford pear tree here on the other side of the front yard. I had these pruned back by an arborist when they did my cherry tree um, early winter. And it's really, really full now, really growing nicely. But here's kind of a look at the front yard. Like I say in my other videos, I don't spend a whole lot of time out here. I really focus on the backyard. But I do try to make it presentable. And here's these hollyhocks, which will be in full bloom here before you know it. Well, folks, thanks for watching.